Welcome back to another video of Revit's MP. I'm going to go ahead and do a side video of how to attain Aerith's uh, final limit break. So what you want to do, well it's called the Great Gospel, but you, what you want to do is once you're done with the Rocket Town mission with Sid where you get the Tiny Bronco, do not go to the ancient temple or whatever. What you want to do is go back to Nibelheim get on the uh, little buggy make your way back to Cote del Sol, whatever, Cote del Sol drive into it with the buggy and hop on the boat back to Junon remember you do not go to the temple of the ancients because at this point for some reason I don't think you'll be able to go back and get it and what you need to do is dock into Junon and as you can see I'm doing the three times speed just to, you know, for the time constraint here. You can hop on the uh, helicopter here, have them take you to right outside of Junon and you will have the buggy. Remember it's important you have the buggy because you have to cross over the river because once the Omega weapons were released or the ultimate weapons or whatever weapons were released they made a crater there and you have to use the buggy to cross the river to get over to the man in the cave or whatever. Now it's important that once you get here uh, depending on how many battles you've done he'll have a different kind of saying or whatever so if you go in there and, and like in this case I had an even amount of battles he'll wake up and give you a bolt ring so what you want to make sure you do is have him tell you how many times you fought so in order to do that you have to exit the cave and go back in until you see exactly how many battles he's told you so he'll tell you about large materia that's how to get master material I'll cover that later but every time you go in it's gonna be something different you have to basically guess or hope he tells you uh, he'll tell you you've battled X amount of times and remember as long as you've battled an odd number so for example if you've battled only double digit battles which I hope you haven't at this point in the game it has to end with the last two numbers double digit odd numbers so example you know they have to end with 111 you know 335 right okay so right here for example I fought well, 1288 times so the last two numbers are 88 so you have to make sure it's an odd number so the next number would be 99 that would be the next uh, number that ends with two odd numbers that I can get right here so just fight what 11 times so anyway once you know this number you can fight you can battle right outside the cave and it's important to keep like a I know you know with my memory and everything you know it's not bad but uh, I'll keep like a counter you know so I'll have like a, a piece of paper where I'm you know you know one battle two battles three battles and with the three times multiplier of the battles you're able to you know keep track of the process and how many battles you've done so remember it has to be an odd number an odd number of battles and once you go in there he'll give you the an item called mithril or mithril which you can then take to whoever you know I'm gonna go ahead and speed through this part here and then I you know once you go in there he says who are you hmm, I guess it was fate that I woke up and met you here and you received the mithril again you take this mithril again you gotta make sure you do an odd number of battles when you go in there and fight him otherwise he'll just he won't say anything so once you get that uh, you have to remember get back in your buggy go all the way back past golden saucer to that man by the house by Gonzaga or Gungaga village town right before Cosmo Canyon so you get back in your buggy again for time constraints and I forgot that while you're in the buggy you can still go into battles so I went ahead and did this here as well on the slash but yeah how many of y'all never got to use Aerith's Great Gospel in the Breaker I know I I remember I, I got it when I first played the game years ago
buildings I was able to put it together and then granted a lot of videos nowadays they verified what I thought you know you could do so again you're back in June on uh, I wouldn't take the helicopter I know the first time I did it I took the helicopter to took me right back to the outside of town you just go right past them get back on the boat and you go back to Costa del whatever And again, it helps to have the three times speed uh, option in the PS4 version. All right, so here we are back in the beach town. I forget the name, Costa del Sol. There it is on the side. All right, so you get back in your buggy and you travel across the river through golden saucer prison sand area and you make your way back to the weapon owners or weapon weapon sellers house here and it's uh, let's see yep so at this point you greet him and you say uh, let's change the subject because you don't want to acknowledge the temple or the keystone uh, so again he tells you all the weapons you've seen and he asks you if you have any mithril you say yes you hand it over and he said you can help yourself make sure you open the small box at the top left of the uh, house because it'll be something else on the other side so there you go great gospel once you receive that uh, again I'm hoping you at this point if you don't already have Aerith on her final limit break you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to grind level up her limit breakers uh, if I'm not mistaken to do to get a first limit breaker you have to do it I think eight times and then you get the first limit breaker of each stage and to get the second one of each stage, you have to do that limit breaker, uh, the second limit breaker. No, you have to defeat 80 opponents. So I'm hoping at this point you've already gotten Aerith up to her uh, level 3 limit breakers. Again, you know, just to add, I think you do each one 8 times. The first limit breaker of each uh, level, 8 times, you get the second one. And to get to the next level of limit breakers, you have to defeat 80 opponents each time. So basically to get to level 3 you have to de defeat 160 opponents to get the level 3 limit breaker. And it's confirmed kills you have to kill. So see there you go. So it's been equipped. Great gospel. And I hadn't seen it until this moment because again I had tried to get it and you know I just you know got sidetracked with other games years ago and whatnot. So this is actually my first time that I actually used Great Gospel in my own save in my own game. I've seen videos, but I avoided them because I want to see what happens. So basically, uh, Gainsborough, you know, I use their last names when I named them here. So it fully restores all the allies and makes them invincible for a brief moment. So there it goes. What that does, it fully restores and recovers all your all your uh, friends, restores their health, their their HP, MP, any status ailments, and it makes them invincible briefly. You see, they're glowing yellow. So I went ahead and ended it with Omni Slash. Uh, thank y'all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if I, if you did anything different, let me know. Let me know what you did. Was the first time you used it? If you still haven't even yet seen it or done it, let me know uh, what you thought about it. I thought it was pretty cool, you know. I don't expect anything from her with shoulder powers on anyone, but it's it's in her in her niche, you know, healing and stuff like that. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you sub, like, let me know what you would have done different that I didn't do or in what level you are at this point of the game. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh blah.